The U.S. economy added 150,000 jobs in October, extending a year-long softening trend that has gradually brought hiring to levels to reflect the pace of job growth before the pandemic. The unemployment rate rose slightly to 3.9%, after months of hovering near historic lows. This year, the labor market has been undergoing a notable cool-down, across many sectors, from its red-hot peak after the pandemic when employers rapidly created millions of jobs to keep up with pent-up consumer demand. October's job gains mark the second lowest increase since 2020. Economists had predicted that the economy churned out around 170,000 jobs in October. Wage growth moderated slightly in October, rising by 4.1% over the previous 12 months to $34 an hour. This is still one of the best labor markets for workers that we've seen relative to the last 30 years, said Justin Bloch, a professor of economics at Cornell University. But it is definitely less hot than it was last year. The wave of heightened strikes across the United States, which included 45,000 autoworkers on strike in October, also appeared in the October report, as manufacturing job growth slid by 35,000. Although in the long term, the auto workers' new contract is likely to push wages higher across affected industries. Despite this cooling, the resilient job market is propelling the economy to unexpected highs. The U.S. economy grew at a brisk 4.9% annual rate in the most recent quarter, in large part because consumers have the means to keep spending. Wages are rising and inflation has eased in recent months. And fresh data this week shows that productivity is growing by the fastest pace in three years. As a result, Americans are continuing to open their wallets. Spending on housing and transportation, as well as movie theaters, restaurants and sporting events all rose in August. Government data shows, helping support a range of new service jobs. If you have a full employment labor market with the pressures of inflation easing, such that you generate real wage gains, in an economy that's 70% consumer spending. That's a powerful force with real momentum. Jared Bernstein, chair of the U.S. Council of Economic Advisors, said in an interview this week. That solid showing is in stark contrast to widely held recession fears at the start of the year. Many, including the Federal Reserve Chair, had expressed concerns that the central bank's aggressive push to bring down inflation would result in job losses across sectors and could tip the economy into a downturn. That hasn't happened, at least not yet, even as inflation has eased, to 3.7% in September, from last summer's high of 9.1%. This week, Fed Chair Jerome H. Powell announced that he would leave interest rates unchanged for the time being while calling the job market's resilience a historically unusual and very welcome result.